Hi, it's Starlight again, and this time I'm going to do start doing a short series of videos about packing for conventions. Just tips and stuff to help it make it go faster. Um, and the reason I'm doing a short series is because um, I don't like watching 20 minute long videos. I don't know about you, so that's why I want to keep my videos um, pretty short. I'm going to try to keep them around 5 minutes. So this video is about getting organized, so when it's time to pack for the convention, um, you'll have most of your stuff ready to go and the process will go a lot smoother. So the first thing to do is to make a list. Make a list a month ahead of time, a week ahead of time. Just make it a few days ahead of time at least. That way it gives yourself time to think about it and make sure you put everything on the list that you're intending to. Um, starting off, I just go into like Word and print off a list. Here's an example of one of mine. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I have like toiletries and I've got like makeup. I just go through and I just make a list of everything that I might need to take with me. And I just keep it in a Word file and that way whenever I um, am ready to pack for a convention, then I just print it off. And then as it goes in my suitcase, I can just cross it off and then I know I've got it in there. Another way to create lists, um, there is an app called Evernote, which I love. It's great for creating lists. It's great because um, you can do little bullet points, you can do little check boxes. So for my packing um, list, I like to I have check boxes so when it goes in my bag, I can check it off and just do that. That way I can keep reusing it for the next time. I just uncheck it um, once I get back from the convention and then it's ready to go next time I go to another convention. So for each costume I will write down a list of everything that I need to do with that costume and that will be not just the costume pieces itself but anything I might need to wear with it like tights or a wig cap or bloomers if I'm wearing a skirt or anything like that. Another part of being organized is once you get done with the costume, this is assuming that you're making your costume, but you know, make sure that there's no stray thread on it, make sure there are no markings left on it, that you've washed it if it needs to be washed, um, that you have ironed it, you have bought your costume, that just make sure you've tried everything on, that everything fits, that there aren't any random holes in places, and um, just put it all together, make sure you have all your accessories together, so that part still applies. Make sure it's ironed and all that. And then put everything together. If you have accessories, then it's a good idea to put them in a bag like this one and label it on there what it is. Like this one is for Sailor Neptune and I've marked that, you know, that there's the choker, the gloves, the tiara, earrings, uh, the lip rub, which is the transformation stick. And I've just listed on here what's in there. That way I can know at a glance I don't have to dig through the bag or dump it out and make sure I've got every all the accessories in there. That's an easy way to keep all your stuff together. And that's pretty much what I do with all my costumes that have loose accessories. Um, if they don't have a lot of loose accessories, I will try to put as much as I can on a hanger. Um, with the costume itself, I like to put it on a hanger. That way it's hanging and if I've ironed it, then it's not going to get messed up from being folded, get fold lines in it or whatnot, and I don't have to re-iron it once I get to the convention. I like this kind of hanger because it's still slanted so that a shirt will sit on it normally the, the way it's supposed to, but it also has these clips so that you can hang um, a skirt or pants or other larger accessories. Like, And another way I like to get organized is once I do put the uh, costumes on a hanger, then I will put them in a garment bag rather than my suitcase. I looked out and got this one at the uh, thrift store for five dollars. This is a really nice um, garment bag. Of course it has the hanger right here and it has a zipper right here and it has a velcro tab right there. But right here is your hanger. You open that and it's got slots to put your hanger in here and then you that up so that the hangers can't slide out and then it's even got a buckle right here to belt them in so that they can't fall out um, and this one also has a lot of pockets so there's a pocket here a pocket here on the front side and then if you turn it around on the back in half, there's another pocket right here so when I have like my bags of cosplay accessories, I like to put them in here and sometimes I'll even put my wigs in here too, especially after I'm finished wearing that costume for the weekend, I'll uh, put it in here just to get it out of the way. And um, this one folds in half so I can carry it like this, but it also has a shoulder strap so that makes it easy to carry it around and all my costumes are together and in one place, they're hanging up. So I can hang them in the car, um, and then once I get to the hotel, I can hang them in the closet so they're um, neat, they're out of the way, and they won't get wrinkled. And uh, it's very easy to just grab a hanger, and there's my costume, and I can just go. 
So that's it for this video. Um, next week I'll have another of my short series for packing for conventions on um, what I call my con kit and I'll explain what that is next week. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe down below and I'll see you here next week. Bye.